Hello, this is Rishin Yo from the United Egala Kingdom Mobile Museum and Research Center. Welcome to Egala History and African History in general. With me, Ambassador Ayegba Abdullahi Adojo de Ata Egala, General Ambassador and the Ambassador of Egala people uh, worldwide. Today, I want to talk about the relationship between Egala people of Nigeria and the Gala people of Ethiopia. Gala people of Ethiopia were part of a Gala people who migrated from ancient Egypt around 700 BC and were moving until they, we came to a point why they decided to take another direction while we were coming downward. So we migrated from ancient Egypt or from Egypt to Sudan, to South Sudan, and from there they decided to take a direction to Ethiopia and they went to form their own uh, Gala, although Gala had been interpreted by some other tribes there, which made them to maintain another uh, identity, which is Oromo. Oromo in Gala is Omaora, that is a son of a father or son of a man or children of a man. It's also an Igala word. So they are the people there. While we, they went to stay in Ethiopia, we continued to uh, the present day Nigeria and we arrived in Borno state. Uh, under Kanem Empire then, the, in the community they call a Tigala community founded by Igala people around 700 BC. So we uh, uh, we have them as our brothers and we have been reconnected with them quite long ago. But again, what are some of the things that we are still doing together? One is the traditional title of the Gala people or the Roma people is Abba. The Abba uh, as we know, or if you are not aware, Abba simply means father, is the same as uh, Ata. Ata is the king, is the title of the king of Igala people. The same is what they are using there. So, just like we are using Ata Igala, they are using Abba, Gada. Gada is just like a system of democracy, supposed to be Abba or Romo, okay, in that form. Then the next similarity that we still have is the white and the red cloth or color. The white color is the color of Upper Egypt, while the red color is the color of Lower Egypt. In fact, in various uh, uh, festivals or even the worshiping of some gods, you say that the clothes mainly used are red and white uh, uh, colored clothes. This is because of the way we are coming from. The white cloth uh, symbolizes uh, victory, while the red one uh, symbolizes the fertility of the Nile Valley area or the lower uh, Egypt area where the Gala people were staying. Then we have another uh, festival which is done in 90s in their own is called Eresha Festival, while in Igala is called Osho Festival. The Osho Festival of Igala people takes place, uh, is done in 90s. The ninth one is the grand finale, which is the time that the Atagala will come back from the bush after a great hunting in which he must kill an animal. And so these are just the brief aspect of it. We have many vocabularies still. Uh, for instance, in Igala, there is, okay, the word uh, fire is una in Igala, the same uh, una or unas in ancient Egypt. And this Ethiopia also speak, or the Oromo people still speak many uh, still have many vocabularies of ancient Egypt and Kush in addition to this culture in the uh, vocabularies till now. And one thing you are going to know is that there is a connection between the Oromo people of Ethiopia and the Igala Kingdom of Nigeria under the association of Nile Valley Descendant Association. The Lebo people are also part of this, same as the Azande people of South Sudan, which I'm going to talk to you about them sooner in the next one like the page ayagwa bilahi like the page united igala kingdom mobile museum and research center for any question comment under this post comment under this video again thank you so much ambassador ayagwa is my name